Now, let's have an example of map and flat map. Map is again intermediate operation that returns a string based on the operation that you have specified. So, whatever operation you are specifying, that will be executed and a new string will be returned. So, as you can see, I have a list already. Now, first I will create a string on my list. So, I load string. Now, if I say a map, so it is, it is uh, accepting a function as argument and it returns a string that will be consisting of the result of applying the given function uh, on the elements of the string. So, if I simply say map, for so it instead of a function, I am directly calling a method reference, I am calling string to uppercase and now I just simply print the elements. Okay, before that let's pass a sorted method. So, you can see sorted that is again returns a string consisting of the elements of the string and sorted according to natural order. As of now we are not passing any order. In other examples, we will see how to pass a order. So, let's say sorted and I pass a for each method and I simply say system.out.println. Once again, I use the method reference and let's run the example. So, if you can see the original list is first converted to uppercase that is sorted and then it is printed. So, in the map you can pass a function or you can directly specify expression that needs to be executed. Now, if you want to pass a function that is also allowed, so let's say I create a function type and specifying string and again string function name and giving function fun and I'm specifying a lambda expression for all the elements s, I just want to say s plus hello. So, as we discussed earlier, we cannot use the same string. So, I have to create a string on my list once again. So, I dot string dot map. Now, I need to pass the function as argument in my map, and once again, I am printing it using the for each method. Let's run the program. So as you can see, on the original elements, on the original list, I created a stream. So on original elements, a hello word is appended and then it is printed. So a stream, and here I am creating the stream. On that stream, I am applying a map. So it will return a stream based on this particular function and that string is passed to for each method. Map is again an intermediate operation. So if you pass a terminating operation, then only it will be executed, otherwise it will won't be executed. So it was an example of map. Now next is flat map. It also takes function as argument. It takes element of one type of argument and returns the string of another type and it returns string of string that is flattened so it is a string that say now for the example of flat map i have created three different lists list of string l1 list of string l2 and list of string l3 and they all are having okay let's say a uh, different different elements i just to change the elements and after that, I have created one more list. That list is list of list and that list is of stri uh, type string. So, my names is the list of list L1, L2 and L3. And after that, I simply printed the elements in the list. Now, if I create a stream on this particular list, so that will be stream of type list of type string. Strings type is list and list type is string. A name I am giving st is equals to names dot stream. Let's just import the stream. Now I say elements in 
string i added a simple print statement and on my string first i write a for each for all the s i just uh, for all the x i just want to do say and after that once again i add a print statement now instead of for each i simply print the string directly so i say string is and uh, let's say i add st over here uh, slash n and then st so let's run the example so you can see first i am having elements in list so this is my elements of uh, list of list after that i printed elements in string and i used a system dot out dot uh, print element with for each method so that's the reason it is printing now after that let's say if i create one more stream stream of type list list of type string and name i am giving f map names dot stream before applying to flat map let us create one function so i say function of list of string and that is returning a stream of string and name f u n i am giving so for all the elements of my list i just wanted to make l dot stream okay f u n i already have used so let us make it uh, f u n 1 and let us say l s l s dot stream now on my stream f map i say a flat map previously i passed a map operation now i am passing a flat map operation so if you can see it also returns a stream consisting of the result of replacing each element of this stream with the content of the mapped stream produced by applying the provided mapping function to each element so let's say i will pass my function 1 once it is doing a flat map i simply uh, directly print it and let us add a print statement over here here i say that it is the result of flat map so let's say stream after flat map and let's run the program once again string after flat map that is having a simple elements means whenever you are having a string of stream and you want to retrieve uh, simple elements you can use a flat map over here so i had a list of list and on that i just created a stream stream i created of li type list of type string then i created a function which was being called on the list of string and in return it returned me a stream of string so function i had to pass that all the elements that are list of type string on that i just wanted to create a stream so for each and every list it created a stream and that stream you directly printed using system or out dot printer and so that's the reason you have a uh, different different elements each and every time so flat map is specifically useful when you are working with stream of stream so this was example of map and flat map